When the uh, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic started, we realized that we needed a tool that would help us to predict where the pandemic was going to go. We were faced with needing to develop and, and put in market treatments uh, in a very, very short period of time. When you are in a situation of crisis, you need to think in different ways. How do we start to have our customer think about a non-sequential way of doing things? So you can't really think of that as a purely clinical or a purely commercial exercise. It's more of a, how do we work together to get this done? Once we started to collaborate, we realized we could integrate the commercial insights into a platform. And that's when we started to call it the dynamic control room. What we were able to do because of who we are and the way that we're constructed is we were able to draw expertise from a lot of different places. People who had worked on prior smaller scale pandemics who had experience with emergency use authorization, you know, and, and having a, a former FDA colleague as part of the mix. We put all this together and we were able to keep track of the pandemic in almost real time. The beauty of this dynamic control room is that it allows you to have actionable insights. It's a way to actually deploy resources and, and see a result and then respond. The dynamic control room can be customized for different outbreaks. This platform can absolutely be a go-to platform for other therapeutic categories. And it just shows the power of what happens when you remove the complexity and the hierarchy and the, all the other things, and you just really work together toward a common goal. Cut. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs>